Well, at the very top, I think if we can just try and maybe get a sense of how many places do we feel are up for grabs. Uh, I'll throw it to both of you. I mean, we know that the likes of a Virat Kohli and a Rohit Sharma just slot in there automatically. But with Shikhar, in the context of Shikhar Dhawan's statement, Harsha, how many of those slots, starting with the batting? I think there's a traffic jam in the top two places. So, if you play Rohit and Virat, I think Virat said he wants to open because he wants to make room for Surya Kumar Yadav at three, which is in itself an interesting statement. Uh, I mean, he, he said that during the uh, what, during the England T20s, I think, which in itself is an interesting statement because Virat has been fantastic for India in T20 cricket. Dare I say, better for India than for RCB, though that's a statement that provoke a lot of emotion. But his numbers for India are just incredible. But for Virat to say, I will open, it means he's closing that spot and opening a middle order spot. Alternately, you could have someone opening the batting and then have Virat 3, maybe Surya 4, Shreyas 4, Ishan 4, there's a log jam there at 4. And then you come to Rishabh at 5. I think the left-handedness will be important. But don't forget, there's KL Rahul there, there's Prithvi Shaw there. So, while Shikhar is making a claim, he'll have to do that at a very significant strike rate. Because the other two, in fact, Prithvi especially, he just goes boom, boom, boom. So, uh, that that is the primary slot that I think India want to look for. Especially for Shikhar, whose form for Delhi in the last two years has been sensational. We'll come back to Shikhar Dhawan in a bit, Zaheer, but uh, Harsha has pretty much covered the batting. What about lower down the order? How many slots up for grabs do you feel? Well, uh, it, uh, you have to approach it in, in pretty much a similar fashion, isn't it? There is a traffic jam with the new ball for sure, you know. You have uh, Bumra to close the innings uh, and and uh, at, uh, at the top, you know, you have a lot of bowlers who can do the similar kind of role. When you look at Deepak Chahar, you look at Bhuvneshwar Kumar, you look at Sakari also for that matter. It's similar kind of a role, you know, just getting that swing with the new ball and and, and using those uh, those variations. Spin, there is uh, plenty of options uh, to to move around. Uh, so so I think you know what 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 is going to work in India's favor is 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 how uh, this World Cup uh, in terms of the rule of how many people you can have in the squad, mm -hmm. they might get saved by that. And I think you know what what they really need to do is is uh, is define that how do you want to uh, stack up those number of overs when it comes to bowling. And how you want to approach that batting uh, in terms of different slots. So you can literally look at the phases of the innings. You know, you you have the top phase, and then you have the collecting phase in the middle, and then how you want to close the innings. And that then basically determines who your options are. Uh, Harsha is right when he's saying that there is a traffic jam at the top order. You know, so so which means uh, the other day what we were saying that you know you have to make those tough calls because not everyone can get a look in. But you can definitely look at good backups. So when you're looking at the backups, you'll say that yes, you know, India is sitting very pretty. But I think uh, they'll have to really, really think very hard in terms of uh, defining that T20 game, how that 20 overs batting is going to uh, be the case with the Indian team, and how those 20 overs of bowling is going to be who is going to play that middle role of of controlling uh, the innings with uh, with spin, who is uh, uh, going to finish. The bowling, who is going to start the bowling, and also, I think in in modern day cricket, you need that one spinner who can bowl with the new ball as well. So, who is it going to be? You know, these are the finer things which is going to determine exactly uh, what direction the selectors and the team manager yeah. will be going. The one bowler India don't have is someone who turns the ball away from the left hander. So, the only off spinner really playing at that level is Ashwin. You've got Krishnapa Gautam. Maybe if you're looking at Chakravarti, who does a little bit of this, little bit of that, but you really don't have someone who's turning the ball away from the left hander. So maybe that is one slot India will want to look at. You're playing a team like West Indies and you've got maybe a Lewis, Gale, Hetmeyer, Puran, all these guys may be playing. So you want someone who will turn the ball away. That is the only uh, shortcoming that I see. Otherwise, there's lots of options.